People in western Travis County want to see safety improvements to the winding roads near Lake Travis after a deadly crash in Jonestown. Austin Travis County EMS said two people died and a third person was taken to the hospital yesterday afternoon after two vehicles crashed on Pecan Drive and FM 1431. KVU's Isabella Basco went out to the area to see why residents are calling for change. At Texas Paintball in Jonestown, General Manager Chad Widener says he's heard lots of complaints about this intersection, FM 1431 and Pecan Drive. It happens very frequently. A um, lot of families coming out to play here, getting crashes. A lot of employees get rear-ended constantly. So if you're heading towards Lago Vista, uh, going down that hill, people coming down from the opposite way, it's hard to see. There's not a whole lot of room, you know, to see that turn coming towards you. Uh, it's just straight downhill. Jake Friedman is a Northwest Austin resident and frequent customer at Texas Paintball. I've been coming here for a long time, and when my parents used to drive me, they used to always talk about how they didn't like that corner. I think it's a blind spot on both sides because it's a super short, it, it's in the middle of a little valley almost with two hills on each side and because of that I think the people coming towards you don't have much time to react. And after the deadly crash Saturday afternoon, Friedman wants changes in this area. I think probably making a turning lane would probably be a really good, uh, I don't think a light would be very helpful because uh, it's such a such a small area and you wouldn't be able to see the light. If no changes are made to the intersection, Widener worries about how it could affect business here at Texas Paintball. The two fatalities speak for themselves. I mean, people losing their lives just simply driving a, a, a simple country road uh, is ridiculous. I mean, it, it's not the first and it definitely won't be the last if it stays the way it is. It's a shame that nothing's ever been done about it and, and I think it's time for that to happen. Reporting in Jonestown, Isabel Basco for KVU News.